Have you ever had misplaced lines? This usually depends on incorrect belt tension. Hello laser gerbil friends, today I'm here with the Algo Delta laser engraver. Today I want to show you how to use a feature of laser gerbil to check if the machine is adjusted well and correct the problem until you get a perfect result. This functionality is called shake test and test the machine ability to perform very precise rapid movements without losing position, precision and repeatability. The shake test marks a reference cross at very low speed, then shakes the machine on a single axis using many small rapid movements in both directions and along the entire working axis. Finally, slowly return the laser head to the zero position and then engrave a verification cross. If at the end of the test the verification cross is not superimposed on the reference cross, it means that the machine was not able to pass the test and we need to understand why. But in our case the fault lies in the belt tension, which is too loose. I suggest you to look in the manual of your engraver to see the belt tensioning procedure. For the Algo Delta it is very simple, just adjust a screw until you feel it with your hand that the belt is well tensioned. Now we can repeat the test to verify that everything is working correctly. Be careful, the tension of the belt is not the only possible cause of this problem. One of the causes could be that the engraver has slipped on the table. This often happens with light machinery with metal supports. Or it may be happen that the piece itself has moved, again due to the shaking. This is why it is important that the machine is well secured and the same goes for the piece. Finally, the speed or acceleration limit set on the control board may be too high and the motor may be not able to respect it without losing movement steps. In this case you can decrease the maximum speed by modifying parameters 110 and 111 of our control board and the acceleration with parameter 120 and 121. The test is almost finished, now the laser will return to the position and we can see how the verification cross is now exactly overlapped with the initial one.